I thought I would just get up and shoot this video to get it done before I work out, but I feel like I'm being rude. Like I haven't washed my face or brushed my teeth, so give me a second, I'll be right back. Like I know this was just through the camera, but it still feels like I'm being so rude. Like I didn't even take the time to wash my face and brush my teeth, so. Sorry. Okay guys, I'm back. So we are going to call this week 31 and 32's weigh in because you guys know I was away on vacation last week so I didn't weigh in last week. I didn't take my scale with me. So, but in today's video, what I would like to do is the weigh in as well as do a few updated pictures, videos, photos. I think the last time that I did, last time I uploaded pictures to the channel was around week 16. So we're around week 31, 32-ish. So I thought it would be fun to see if there's any noticeable progress in between the pictures and videos. So that's what we'll be doing here today. Okay, at the last weigh-in two weeks ago, I was 227.8. So you guys know that I weigh in on Mondays even though I upload the videos on Wednesday. So the last time that I weighed in, I was 227.8. And this week on Monday, I weighed in at 228.8. So I gained exactly one pound. But you guys, I, listen, just to be honest, I'm a little proud of myself that I only gained one pound. I think I mentioned in another video that between the week of Christmas and New Year's, I reintroduced flour and sugar into my diet. I didn't do it in a way of where I thought like, oh, this is something that I'm going back to long term. It was just something in which, like there was really no excuse for it, I wanted it. So I had this grand idea that I would make these Christmas cookies that I usually make every year. Bought all the ingredients, was gonna make them with the kids. Then I realized, I was like, I don't think I can do that. It's called like an Oreo crunch peppermint cookie. Really delicious. If you do eat sugar and flour, you will love them. Um, we usually make them and give them out. I'll actually put recipe on Pinterest and I'll link it in the description um, box in case anyone's interested. I was gonna say, so we kind of got caught up, carried away. My father-in-law passed away. Like a lot of things happened to where I realized that we were not going to have time to make these cookies. And I kind of felt like if I made the cookies that I may eat them so I didn't completely trust myself. But what happened is you use Oreos in these cookies. So the bag of Oreos were open, the case of Oreos, whatever. So I found myself, I went and I took just one. And <laughs> so bad. So one turned into two to three. I think I had a total of like eight, eight Oreos during the time frame of um, that week between Christmas and Christmas and New Year's, like just from going back and forth, like doing just that one thing. Before I stopped eating sugar and flour, Oreos was not even like my favorite cookie. So it was just, it's the sugar addiction. I'm telling you, I can't do it. I don't know why I tried to play around with it. Shame on me, shame on me. But anyways, in today's video, so I'm gonna run some video just to kind of see from all angles and then I'll compare them on the other side to the videos from before. And remember the videos from before are not from when I first started my journey. I think I was about 12 weeks in at that point. All right guys, so I actually had to come home from work and reshoot the video and film because what I captured this morning just was not up to par. So here we are, we're gonna take a look at where we're, there we go. So this is the front here. Um, on the left side is 12 weeks in and on the right side is where I am currently. So here's a side view. Um, and then here's a view of the back. And here's a side view here, but I didn't capture this side at the beginning. Yeah, and then there's more of a side. So I can definitely see like some improvement, particularly here's my apron area here. That's what I call it anyways. So I can see where it's a little bit smaller there. Same thing here as well. A little bit smaller there. So there's some okay, progress being made. Something else that I noticed when I was trying to um, edit the videos was that most of the focus was like on my um, on my core area. But the truth is, and I maybe need to focus a little bit more next time, but my arms have definitely 
gotten a little bit smaller. Like I couldn't see a major difference in the core area, even, you know, they were kind of dark and I still didn't see a big difference there. And then I don't have any pictures of my legs. So I think for the next video, I may switch out and try to wear something different because my legs are also a bit smaller, but I don't have any before pictures to really show like where I started from. I also thought it would be fun to show you guys like this. See how that sweatshirt is like fitting me? And then as time went on, it became more and more loose. And actually, it was even more baggy. So this just goes to show me that I'm definitely making progress. Even though the scale may not be moving as fast as I would like for it to, I'm definitely making progress. So this just motivates me to continue to keep going. Here in this photo, the one on the right was taken in July of last year and then the one on the left was taken in November of last year. Same set of scrubs but definitely more room. The next two photos are just um so the purple dress is from a wedding in February of last year and then the red dress is from um December of last year. And then again we have the same purple dress and then next to it, um, we have, I'm wearing this dress like for a date night that we did in November of last year. Here I am including a comparison in workout gear. So the ones on the left are from midsummer, and the ones on the right are from December of last year. So midsummer versus December, definitely some progress going on there. And lastly, I thought it would be fun to share some face-to-faces. So before and during my current weight loss journey, 30 pounds down, so proud. So I don't know what I'm gonna say on the voiceover as I'm recording this, but I will say that I am very proud of myself. I'm currently at a loss of 31 pounds, but even though it's only, um, 31 pounds, I do feel a difference in my body. Like I feel smaller overall and I'm really excited. I don't feel as if I want to give up. I haven't lost my motivation. I'm going to continue to move forward and see what 2022 brings for me. I'm really excited. I hope you guys are doing well on your health journeys, your wellness journeys. I hope you guys are investing time into yourself. I hope that you're loving on the people around you and that you're being loved back just as much. And I really hope that you're smashing your goals for 2022. For me, the new year kind of got off to a late start because I was still on vacation, but I am here and ready to go. All right, guys, don't forget, if you like these type of videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!